can't believe it's happening again. We're gonna talk a lot about what's going on in the world of Angular with community. A couple things that are happening that uh, folks are doing, I think, a really nice job of supporting and increasing the diversity of the Angular environment. One of the things I like is, uh, is NG Girls, where this organization is helping women come into the world of tech. One of them that happened earlier this year, NG Atlanta that I got to be part of, was one where there was actually over 60% of the speakers were women, a really critical benchmark, where we, pass, we have over a million developers coming to the Angular.io website every month. This is just incredible. As you probably saw in some of the opening credits, there's meetups that happen all around the world. So then developers, like the reason people come to Angular is because this is where we can get our job done best. All right, so a lot of this talk, we're gonna be diving into things that the Angular team itself is doing. But we also see a lot of great work happening in the community in terms of patterns, libraries, and tools. An example of a design system would be Google's material design. One example, uh, and they're actually here, you can talk to them on the, the show floor, would be Clarity by VMware. Hottest thing right now that's not from the Angular team certainly has got to be NGRX, where if you're not familiar with it, this is how you could do reactive state management in your applications. There's many options, but this is one of them that seems to be gaining a lot of popularity. So let's see if we can look at it. We're working on this thing called we call the Ivy project. It is the next generation Angular render. Uh, the things we're focusing on Angular is what we call smaller, faster, simpler. So now I'd like to invite on stage Kara. Kara is a core Ivy developer. Uh, she is a pretty amazing uh, and prolific coder. She has produced more Ivy code than the rest of the world combined. We explained is that the new rendering pipeline has been designed with tree shaking in mind. So in other words, the renderer code has been rewritten so that Angular code that you're not using can be tree shaken away in a build step. Wasn't it amazing? Are you excited about the future? Come on! Actually, it was in this very room two years ago that Brad was standing up here, and he made this audacious goal of saying that Hello World could be under 10 kilobytes. Let's find out if it is. Now, he also made a promise, says if you guys get 10, uh, Hello World under 10 kilobytes, he will bake us a cake. So here's where we are today. So currently compressed. <laughs> We are at 36 kilobytes. There's a cake threshold of 10 kilobytes. Now, he did not specify whether he's talking about minified or compressed. So let's find out how big the minified is. You guys ready? Come on. I'm going to milk this thing. Yeah. All right. So a minified Hello World is 7.3 kilobytes. And when you run it through a compressor, it comes down to 2.7 kilobytes. But anyways, um, so cake was promised, and cake will be delivered. There is a cake waiting all around uh, in the background, waiting for you guys to enjoy it. So cake it so.